Hey guys, this is Pam and welcome back to my channel. So I'd like to show you my visit to uh, the Guerlain flagship store in Paris on Champs-Élysées. I was just so happy to be there, uh, very very excited. I didn't even know quite what to expect, um, but it is everything that I have hoped for. Um, so I just want to quickly show you around the store. Um, I only brought my phone with me. Again, I didn't know, I didn't even know if they were gonna let me um, record things. So as you can see here, I was always rushed. Um, so I'm sorry about the video quality, uh, but feel free to kind of pause and see what I'm trying to show you here uh, really quickly um, because even though I asked for permission, sometimes they just kind of like look at me weird. So yeah, anyway, this is what we got, <laughs> but I'm still happy to show you. This is the upstairs portion where they have a beautiful display of the arts and materials collection which they have throughout the store. Um, nobody was really there upstairs. Um, so I was just able to enjoy myself, uh, look around, take some videos and photos while I was waiting for Miss Julia. Now she was the sweetest and the kindest. Um, yeah, she was the one who helped us throughout our entire visit there. Um, and as you can see on the next clip, I didn't really uh, record her face while she was talking, but eventually uh, when I asked her if she was okay, she said it's okay um, to record her. So maybe you'll see her face uh, at some point during the video, I'm not quite sure. Tell me about this uh, very uh, wonderful border is. It was first created for the opening of the shop. Oh. Just the part downstairs mm -hmm. that was opened in 1914. Mm -hmm. And it should have opened uh, two years before. You know, because in 1914 it was not a good time, but nevertheless, yes, uh, uh, we had uh, there were delays. So, so like uh, 1916? No, 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 no. It should have opened in 1912, and oh. we opened in 1914. 14. Oh my 14, goodness! Yeah, for the beginning yeah. of the war. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. not uh, the, the best period. But nevertheless, we opened in 1914, and for the opening, uh, Guerlain family wanted to have a special bottle to celebrate yeah. the first opening in Paris. Mm -hmm. So that was this shape. It's called le flacon tortue, the turtle, you know? It looks like a turtle. And ah, at the time it now. was crystal, in crystal, and you had a very special perfume in it called le parfum des Champs-Élysées that we don't carry anymore nowadays. Mm -hmm. And it was also uh, quite funny because uh, Guerlain family had a uh, uh, um, great uh, sense of humor mm -hmm. um, because the turtle was just to remind of the delay, you know? The because the turtle is an animal that goes very, very, very slow, slow, you know? Yeah. That's uh, mm -hmm. So this yeah. was in question. Okay. Uh, it was... Uh, and this is the original, right? No, it's no? not. It was not in that size. It was not. It used to be in smaller size. Smaller, okay. 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 But you. nevertheless, we... You know, uh, since Guerlain is a very old French company since... Uh, that has been existing since 1828, so almost uh, 200 years, okay? And uh, since the beginning up to now, we had about 1,100 different scents that were created. Oh my, that's a lot. So it's a huge and I collection. And you, you have a, um, an archive of all of that? Exactly. Which is exactly. where? <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you no. can't. No, <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a preciously kept by our uh, creator. Yeah. From one generation, one generation to another yeah. generation. Is there um, Wasser still the, the house perfumer? Theory Wasser? Oh yes, it still is, since, yeah. since 2008. Yeah, okay. Okay, so in fact what's amazing in, uh, in Guerlain's story, I should say, is that um, we had five generations of perfumers and four of them belonged to Guerlain family. So the founder was Guerlain, mm -hmm. remember, mm -hmm. Guerlain family, uh, whose name was Pierre-François Pascal Guerlain. The next generation was Aimé Guerlain. The third generation was Jacques Guerlain. The fourth generation was Jean-Paul Guerlain. 
Okay, so uh, uh, his uh, grandfather was All from Jacques. father to son to... No, no, no not no, necessarily, not but necessarily. in the same family. Yeah, okay. And when Jean-Paul retired in 2008, then we welcome uh, Thierry, mm -hmm. okay, uh, Thierry Basser, who's still with us today. And he's... Uh, now Is he part of the family or no? No, no. Okay. He's not a member yeah, of the yeah, family, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, he worked a uh, few months with Jean-Paul and he's considered as Jean-Paul's son, okay. you know, yeah. but he's not a real member, yeah, but yeah. he has the same uh, uh, way to work and uh, he's all over, over the world have, trying to get his uh, raw materials uh, that he will work with for his next creations. And uh, he also works uh, um, with another um, creator whose name is Delphine. Delphine Yelk. And Delphine they work Yelk, together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. She, she, yes. She's made a, a lot of her perfumes too. She did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. She's oh, the, she did like Mousse en Outre Blanc. She the one Mousse who did Outre Blanc yeah. as an example. Yeah. And the, yes. cher the cherry. Cherry Blossom, Oud, oh, Cherry, cherry uh, she well, she created Oud Nude, Oud Nude Cherry, cherry Oud, Oud, and, and Oud. Thierry, Thierry created Oud Cole. Oud Cole, oh, okay, I, okay. I thought she did all three. But they, well, very often they, they work together, but most of the time what happens is that Thierry is all over the world trying to get raw materials. Raw materials. It shows them very carefully and then he brought bring them back, you know, and then then finish creating the perfume. Yeah, while he's getting all the raw materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Very, very, uh, very, uh, very uh, quickly. Uh, we also had special makeup. You know, the first lipstick from our brand was created in 1870. So liquid blush, uh, very first um, lipstick, very first powders, and at the time they were all presented this way. Yeah. Very first skin cares, there is one that was uh, Crème à la Fraise, it was used by Cécile Imperatrice, you know. I wonder what happens if I try those creams now. <laughs> so old. Oh, no. Probably nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you have to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you do on the left. Okay. It's not very long. It's very, very nice. And as you will see, the, the original B bottle. Yes. That was created in 1853. Okay. okay. So that was Miss Julia and she was telling me how to get downstairs because they have the original bee bottle on display and um, we were there just at the right time because I think the following day they were about to um, pull it off of display. They were only having it for two months uh, total for people to see and then after that they were going to go ahead and put it into storage. So here we are, that's the original bee bottle. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you around the room. Um, they just have like some artworks, um, which is super cool to look at. Um, but they have that right there at the center, the centerpiece, which is the original bee bottle. Enjoy.
again i apologize for the video quality um but this is their best-selling aqua allegorius and um yeah sometimes my phone would uh, be out of focus too for some reason i did buy a couple of uh, aqua allegorius um, but not at that store i purchased them actually at the paris airport on the way home um, but I'm not gonna tell you yet because I'm gonna be doing a Guerlain perfume haul because of course I purchased a few bottles there um, that I'm excited to show you so you are not gonna want to miss the video so please watch out for it because I have bonus things that I want to show you that I got along with my purchase very exciting do keep watching you guys because you're gonna see Miss Julie again she's gonna show us uh, the vintage perfumes and their release dates it's just kind of cool um, she was just so nice um, also watch till the very end because i got a couple of um, the perfumes that i purchased that uh, miss julia is going to customize for me as you can see Shiki, the very first perfume from our brand, created in 1889. Then we have another mythic one that's called Heure Bleu, up there. Heure Bleu. 1912. Mitsuko, 1919. Shalima, probably one of the most popular, 1925. Vol de Nuit, 1933. And uh, well, the other would be, uh, I would say, uh, newer compared to those. Uh, Samsara, 1989. Jardin de Bagatelle, 1983. Oh, I've never heard of that one. We'll also get Après Londé, 1906. Uh, Nahema, 1979. Shamad, 1969. So, and I guess it's okay. Liu, maybe. Liu was uh, created in 1929. And just next to Liu, Chandarou, 1962. Okay, thank you so much for that. Is the red one? Yeah. yeah okay. you, you don't see it yeah, properly, yeah. but right. it is.
Like the reason? Yeah, I love it. Good choice. <laughs> Guess so. Mm -hmm. And maybe next time for another one that could be the all blue. Yeah. You know? Yeah, next one. All right. Okay. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I was very happy to have been there to visit the Guerlain flagship store in Paris. Um, yeah, check out my Instagram if you haven't done so. It's at Pam Smelly Goods. Uh, sometimes I post some pictures there so you can check out more of my content. Um, again, please watch out for that Guerlain haul that I'm going to be posting soon. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. Do you like the 